Welcome to Excel 2010 Statistics video number 33. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Statistics Chapter 3, click on the link below the video. Hey, I'm all the way back on the sheet SKU, and we got to talk about SKU. Oh, a numerical SKU. Last chapter, we talked a lot about SKU, right? We talked about it in the context of looking at a frequency distribution, which is what SKU is, right? SKU this direction. It means to the left, there's a few small values pulling the mean down, right? This is no skew. It's like perfectly bell-shaped. And this one means, oh, there's a few big values pulling the, average, the mean up. And so in this video, we want to calculate a numerical measure of skew and also talk about the relationship between mean, median, and mode. All right, let's just get a preview here and then we'll actually prove it to ourselves. We'll calculate some numbers. Here, oh, that slide is too, that slide doesn't work. All right, let's just go ahead and calculate it. We'll, we'll do it ourselves from our nice little pictures here and our data sets right down here. Skew. Now, there's the big gigantic formula um, for how to calculate skew. You don't have to do that. Uh, skew isn't even in chapter three here. It, it comes up later, but it is um, important. We talked a lot about it last chapter in terms of frequency distribution. So what do you think the name of the function is? Skew. Pretty straightforward. It'll give us a numerical measure. Now, let's before we even do this, hey, if the there's a few small values pulling the average down. What do you think skew is going to be? Positive, negative, or zero, right? It's called to the left because there's a few small um, uh, values pulling the, the mean down, but it's also called negative skew because the skew will come out negative. So when we calculate it, it will be negative if this is truly uh, the distribution here. So negative, oh, I already have the answer right there. I already did it the, the long way. All right, how about skew here? So uh, zero, actually, I'll tell you what, I did. this is number formatting. If you <laughs> increase the decimals, you can see there's very, it's very almost zero, but you know it's hard to create a data set perfectly symmetrical. Right, so it's almost, it's close, it's close enough for us. So if you hide the decimals, it looks like, well, if you're required to round <laughs> that position, then it's zero. All right, and then finally we'll do this one, skew. And this should have positive, right, because there's a few big values. So 1.6. All right, so those are measures of skew. Now. Uh, more important even than that, we want to talk about the relationship between mean, median, and mode. So I'm going to calculate mean average I'm actually going to copy that. Control C, Enter. Median, Control V, Enter. And then equals mode. I'm going to do mode.single. Now, notice these are relative cell references. So if you have data set, set up like this, you can highlight all three of your different formulas and copy it over using your little uh, fill handle and angry rabbit. And you can see that it worked just fine. Now, this will always be the case when we're talking about skew. This is a negative skew. See if I can get this. Mm, okay, so that's as good as I can do. Okay, so negative skew. Oh yeah, we talked about the mean is going to be pulled down. That means the one in the middle will always be bigger, and the mode will be bigger. So these two are always going to be bigger than the mean. How about if there's no skew at all? Well, then mean, median, and mode are all the same values. And that makes perfect sense when you're looking here, right? If this is a bell-shaped distribution, and last video we saw kind of um, what's called an area curve or a smooth curve. That's just something fancy we're going to do in Chapter 6. Really, the, the when you look at distributions to see whether they're bell-shaped or not, you're perfectly, it's 
uh, perfectly acceptable to do a frequency distribution histogram like this. But what do we see here, right? The frequency is the highest here, of course, so that means the mode is there, but also the median and the mean will all be right in this class here. That mean, That's the, the definition of a bell-shaped distribution. All right, so skew is 0, and mean, median, and mean, uh, mode will be the same. Now, with this one, there's a few big values pulling the mean up. So here's our mean calculation. We got a calculation of 14. And then the median is below it, and the mode is below it still further, right? So the, the, the relationship is always the same for negative to the left, no skew, and positive. For positive, the order will go like this, mean, and then median, then mode. If it's bell-shaped, they're all the same. And if it's to the left or negative, the mean will be the smallest, then the median, then the mode. All right, SKU. We uh, have one more video. The last, next video will be about uh, descriptive statistics add-in tool. Uh, we'll see you next video.